Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we delve into the extraordinary tales and timeless lessons from the most influential book of all time. Today, we begin with the captivating story of Mary Magdalene, a figure of redemption, a testament to transformation, and a witness to the miraculous. Stay tuned as we uncover her life's impact and the profound truths that her story brings to us today. Don't forget to subscribe and share, as we continue to explore the chronicles that shape our celestial journey. The story of Mary Magdalene is mentioned in all four of the New Testament Gospels. This fact alone makes Mary Magdalene quite extraordinary. In the first episode, you are brought into the story of Mary Magdalene and a vivid interpretation of who she was. Why is she mentioned in all four Gospels when women were not particularly esteemed in Bible times? What was her relationship with Jesus? What can we learn from her? The characters mentioned throughout the Bible teach us important lessons and humanize God's words. But the story of Mary Magdalene is especially interesting because of her past struggles, her role as a disciple of Jesus, and her presence at the end of his life. Let's look at the fascinating story of Mary Magdalene and learn who she was, what was her relationship with Jesus and what we can take away from her story. Mary Magdalene's Story in the Bible In the story of Mary Magdalene, it is believed she lived in a small fishing town near the shore of the Sea of Galilee. In the Bible, it is recorded that she was possessed by seven demons when she met Jesus as he began his ministry. This encounter led Mary Magdalene to become an early follower of Jesus who traveled with him and the other disciples. Mary Magdalene's devotion to Christ began when he cleansed her of the controlling demons, and her faithfulness endured throughout Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. The seven demons or ailments are unknown, but we do know that her life was radically changed and saved after her encounter with Jesus and subsequent healing. Instead of being controlled and frightened, Mary Magdalene becomes bold and confident. Boldness and confidence are what a life following Christ brings to everyone. Your new identity frees you and changes your perspective. In the story of Mary Magdalene, she is known for financing the ministry of Jesus along with several other women. It is not clear whether she was wealthy or what resources she had to support the work of early Christianity. Mary Magdalene was present at the crucifixion of Jesus and his burial. She was the first person to see Jesus after his resurrection and Christ instructed her to share the news that he was alive. Mary Magdalene and Jesus In the story of Mary Magdalene, she and Jesus had a special connection. I wish we could enter into the story of this true friendship that endured great redemption, healing, love, and loss. In scripture, it is recorded that Jesus was respectful and honored the women he encountered in his ministry. Early Christianity was full of women accepting and proclaiming the love of Jesus. Imagine how amazing it would be to walk beside Jesus and help him fulfill the greatest calling so that we may live abundantly on the earth and in eternity. In the story of Mary Magdalene, this is the best part, one encounter with the Savior was so powerful it captivates, redirects, and propels her to new life. We have the same opportunity today. Accepting the love of God launches you into a new life. Not a life without struggles, but a life with Jesus walking beside you providing hope and comfort despite your mistakes, disappointments, and wrong turns. What was Mary Magdalene known for? In the story of Mary Magdalene, her life is popularized for being the woman Jesus released from the grip of demonic spirits. As incredible as this miracle is, Mary Magdalene was more than a fallen woman who encountered Jesus and was completely freed. In the story of Mary Magdalene, you learn her entire life was completely transformed by Christ and she continued to make a difference in others' lives after encountering God in human form. This is the same opportunity available to you, the story of Mary Magdalene, for lessons. Your future is not dictated by your past. Regardless of where you have been or what you have done, God can save and use you. Your identity is a loved child of God, not your circumstances or mistakes. Be passionate about supporting the work of Christ. In the story of Mary Magdalene, she was so inspired by her healing and encounter with Jesus that her whole life became dedicated to supporting his work and spreading the gospel. We are each given limited resources and must decide where we to invest them. Investing in the work of the kingdom is the best return on investment you will make. Be devoted to your faith in the good times and the bad times. Following Jesus does not mean your fear, discouragement, disappointment, and pain disappear. Part of living is encountering and overcoming difficulty, but you get to choose whether you face problems surrendered with God by your side or alone. Reconnect with Jesus all of the time and reflect the love of God. Loving others unconditionally is the best way to open their spirit to God. Spending time in prayer, worship, and Bible study grows our faith so we reflect his love to others. For we fix our attention, not on things that are seen, but on unseen things. 
What can be seen lasts only for a time, but what cannot be seen lasts forever. As we close today's chapter on Celestial Chronicles, we reflect on the transformative journey of Mary Magdalene. Her story is not just a tale from the past, but a beacon of hope for all of us. What struggles are you overcoming? How has your life changed after an encounter that set you on a new path? Share your experiences and join the conversation. Remember, like Mary Magdalene, your past does not define your future. Embrace the love and forgiveness that's available to everyone, and let it guide you to a life of purpose and passion. Subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more inspiring stories, and let's continue to explore the unseen together. Until next time, keep seeking, keep believing, and keep the faith alive.